Hey there, friends. Isn't it just the worst when you're lounging at home and suddenly you spot a line of tiny invaders marching up your wall? Today, I'm bringing you a step-by-step, -step, foolproof guide on how to get rid of ants in the walls. And believe me, by the end of this video, you'll be sending those pesky ants packing. So let's dive right in. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those ants. Get rid of it! Identify the ant species. First off, you've got to know your enemy. Take a good, hard look at those little intruders. What color are they? Any quirky features, like big jaws or wings? And how do they behave? Are they the disciplined type, marching in a straight line, or do they wander around like they've lost their GPS? And here's the kicker. Do they have a sweet tooth, or are they protein freaks? Once you've got these details down, hit up the internet and do some detective work. Find out exactly what kind of ant you're dealing with. But what if you're not Sherlock Holmes and you're still stumped? No worries. There are ant gurus out there, like entomologists or professional exterminators, who can help you figure it out. Inspect and locate the nest. Next, you're going to play follow the leader. Watch where the ants are going. Be patient, it may take a while. Look out for the tiny entry points, it could be any little crack or crevice. Whip out your flashlight, do your best detective impression, and hunt down their secret lair. Need to turn up your ant radar? Try pressing a stethoscope or even just a glass against the wall. Listen out for those tiny footsteps or rustling sounds. It's like eavesdropping on the tiniest secret meeting ever. Remove attractants. Now let's make your house less of an ant magnet. Keep your living space clean. Food spills and crumbs? Gone. Store your food in sealed containers. No free buffets here, ants. Regularly empty the trash, especially if it's got food waste. And if you've got a leaky pipe, fix it pronto. You don't want to give those critters a watering hole. Apply natural remedies. Time to take it up a notch. Bring out your white vinegar and water. Mix them up at a one-to-one -one ratio, so if you're using a cup of vinegar, match it with a cup of water. Put it into a spray bottle and get spraying, focusing on ant trails and their hangout spots. This not only cleans up, but completely messes with their pheromone trails, leaving them all confused. Now let's bring out the big guns. Diatomaceous earth and boric acid. Sprinkle these near the ant entry points. Be careful not to overdo it. A fine dusting is all you need. They're like tiny landmines for ants. And how about adding some natural repellents? For peppermint oil and lemon juice, a few drops on a cotton ball placed near entry points can work wonders. As for cinnamon sticks, just place them directly near the trails or suspected entry points. These all might smell great to us, but for ants, not so much. But here's the thing, you've got to keep at it. Don't expect these critters to pack up and leave overnight. Keep applying these remedies till the ants get the hint. Set up bait stations. Now, it's time to play the Pied Piper. Setting up bait stations is simple. You can buy ready-made ones, or you can mix up a homemade version using sugar and borax. Here's how you do it. Mix one part borax with three parts sugar. For example, if you use one tablespoon of borax, you'll need three tablespoons of sugar. Then, add just enough water to make a syrup. Place this sweet, deadly concoction in little containers or lids and position them near ant trails and entry points. Remember to check these bait stations regularly. Replace the bait when it dries up or when you notice less ant activity. Keep this up until the ants stop showing up for the not-so-happy meal. Use insecticides if necessary. Still got ants? Time to bring out the big guns. Use an insecticide that's specifically for the type of ant you're dealing with. Follow the instructions like your life depends on it and always, always use protection. Gloves, masks, the works. 
and keep your kids and pets well away till it's safe. Seal entry points. No more uninvited guests. Seal up all the cracks and gaps you found inside and outside your home. Use a sealant or caulk and fill those entryways. It's like changing the locks on those pesky ants. Monitor and assess the situation. Now, you wait and watch. Stay alert for any ant activity. Did they find another crack? Are they sneaking in from a new direction? If things don't improve, don't despair. It's okay to call in the pros. Exterminators have dealt with more stubborn infestations than you could imagine. And that, my friends, is how you become the master of your ant-free domain. You've got this. If you found this guide helpful, go on and hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends who are also waging war on ants and drop a comment below with your ant battles. You never know who it might help.